The device is called a Glock switch. It's about the size of a nickel, but the firepower it generates stunned even veteran officers. We want to warn you, the gunfire in this story could be triggering for some viewers. Glock switches are small, cheap, and unassuming. When they surfaced in Birmingham about a year ago. Did you know what you were seeing? Not initially. So we knew when we saw these initially that the, the gun appeared different than the way it was manufactured by the manufacturer. So we started inquiring with, with ATF and others. What was your reaction? Uh, we're shocked uh, because this is a, a huge danger to our community. Glock switches turn a Glock, a popular semi-automatic handgun that legally fires one shot per pull of the trigger into an illegal automatic gun. For each single pull of the trigger, it fires multiple rounds. It can fire up to at a rate of 11 to 1200 rounds per minute. That is uh, that's dangerous. Um, and, and, and as mentioned by the chief, it's very dangerous to innocent bystanders. It is not an accurate weapon. It's something ATF Special Agent Ashley Leitner wants you to see firsthand. This is referred to as a Glock auto switch. Typically, once you activate it, uh, it can go from semi-automatic to fully automatic. And what it does is it basically overrides the trigger mechanism inside the Glock and makes it shoot fully automatic. Ready? An ATF agent demoed both settings using a Glock 17 loaded with 15 shots. This is a legally functioning semi-automatic weapon. Now with the Glock switch. There's a lack of control. It's just spraying rounds everywhere. It's not a targeted uh, gunfire. And so there's a lot of innocent people that could be injured just by the use of these. The Glock switch made the gun hard to hang on to. And of the 75 shots fired by law enforcement, only about a dozen hit the target. When they fire, they're inaccurate. And what's concerning about that is, if one person's trying to shoot another person, good chance an innocent bystander is gonna be close by. Strong chance an innocent bystander is gonna be shot. And we've seen way too much of that in, in our community and across the country. We set a timer, the semi-automatic Glock, fires 15 rounds in about six seconds. When you add the Glock switch, around one second, and the Glock switch is already here. We've heard it numerous times on ShotSpotter, so we know it's there because we're hearing it somewhat regularly on ShotSpotter, so we know it's out there in our city. ShotSpotter is a policing tool that maps shootings across the city, monitored here in the real-time crime center. A recent shot spotter report shows what's likely a Glock switch being used. 26 rounds in two seconds. Earlier this year, a gun equipped with a Glock switch was recovered at the scene of an officer involved shooting. To see that in a handgun is something that can be concealed in someone's pocket, waistband or somewhere else and hidden very easily or hidden in a vehicle. And now that we have the ability to fire numerous rounds extremely quickly, is, is very unsettling. And easy to find. It's fairly simple. Uh, like I said, it's online. Um, you can get them on the streets, though. I mean, we have seen prices uh, over the last few years, the prices were anywhere from, say, 15 to $16 to $30 to get these online. We've seen them go up here lately with the popularity to as much as $150 online. Uh, you could probably get them on the streets, cost a lot more than that, for up to $1,000. You think it would just be easy, even in Birmingham, to bump into something like this? If somebody wants one, I imagine they probably could find one. Taking it off the streets requires all levels of government. There's not a state law prohibiting Glock switches or machine guns, although there are in other states. Alabama doesn't have that. So the feds have to try the cases. U.S. Attorney Prim Escalona's office has prosecuted one case in Tuscaloosa already. It carries um, up to 10 years of a federal prison sentence and can have a fine up to $250,000. Part of what we want to do is to disrupt and dismantle um, and take these very dangerous firearms and Glock switches off the streets before they're able to be used um, in a homicide or other violent crime.